Hey guys, it's your old pal Alice Cooper. Uh, basically, uh, this is spooktacular. So you're gonna be seeing a bunch of horror movies that have a Halloween theme to it. Uh, look for it all this month. <laughs> Pumpkin head. In the prologue, said in 1957, Tom Harley uh, waits inside his farm cabin with his wife and his young son, Ed. A do man seeks sanctuary at Tom's cabin, but Tom refuses and threatens to shoot him if he does not leave. Watching through a window, Ed witnesses the man caught and killed by the grotesque monster. In the present, which is 1988, Ed Harley owns a small store in the country. He briefly leaves his young son alone while he runs on an errand. A group of teenagers, uh, campers, show, stop by Harley's and while riding their dirt bikes, they mortally wound Harley's son. Uh, one teen, Steve, says... St stays with the boy until the father's return. The rest flee the scene. At their cabin, the campers fight about whether or not to call the police. Joel is personally responsible for the jo boy's injury. He is on probation for a similar incident. Knocks one of the friends unconscious and locks him and another girl in the closet to stop them from contacting the authorities. See if you put away for a long time if they if they squeal on him. Harley uh, with his pet dog Gypsy goes to a supposed witch after this young boy teaches, uh, tells him where to find her. Um, who says he cannot bring his son back. Instead Harley just says that he wants revenge. The witch agrees to help Harley but she wants him uh, she wants him that vengeance comes with it. Warns him that vengeance comes with a terrible price. On her orders, Harley goes to an old graveyard in the mountains, digs up a disfigured corpse, and brings it back to the witch's home. The witch uses blood from father and son to resurrect the corpse. Big warning sign there, by the way. Which raises, which rises as a gigantic. Spiny, um, demonic monster named Pumpkinhead. Back at the cabin, Joel brings to ex begins to experience remorse for the actions and his actions and determines to turn himself in over to the police. The monster, however, has already has has already arrived. One of the girls, Maggie, hears a voice whispering her name, uh, seemingly hypnotized. She follows the voice outside of the cabin. Steve brings her out of the trance, but Pumpkinhead kills him. And the body count has started. <laughs> well, actually, it started with a little boy. <laughs> Harley experiences the uh, murder through the monster's eyes. While the campers search for Steve, Pumpkinhead drags away Maggie's, Maggie and Harley uh, again experiences the ensuing murder. He returns to the witch and and begs her to stop the monster's actions. The witch laughs mockingly and says the pumpkin head cannot be stopped, and warns Harley will die if he interferes with the killing spree. She says he has to run his course. So, boo. Joe confronts pumpkin head with a knife, but it sits him aside and drags off Kim whom it drops with a fatal height. The uh, three remaining campers successfully beg the locals for help. Unsuccessfully beg the locals for help. Harley arrives and shoots Pumpkinhead, but when Joel checks to see if the creature is still alive, it grabs a fallen rifle and impales him with him with it. A local boy, Bunt, helps the two remaining campers. The same guy from earlier that helped out the Harley, obviously. 
Tracy and Chris reach an abandoned church. Bunt relates the legend of the monster Pumpkinhead, explaining that the monster avenges one who has been wronged. If anyone tries to stop Pumpkinhead, the person becomes Mark II. As Chris's dirt bike fall, uh, fails to start, he sees the pumpkin has removed the, the drive chain. He lifts up the bike with Crystal on it and throws it against a tree. He then drags his body back to Harley's house, where Tracy, Bunt, and Harley have taken shelter. Pumpkinhead captures Bunt and Harley escapes and experiences the attack. Uh, Tracy is terrified to see the monster's head now resembles Harley's. She runs outside and finds Chris is struggling to crawl away from a pumpkin head prepares to kill Bunt. Harley struggles out of the barn and was accidentally stabbed in the arm by a punch for her. Both Harley and Pumpkinhead cry out in pain and Pumpkinhead releases Bunt. Harley notices that the pumpkin head is sh turning more human and realizes that he and Pumpkinhead are one. The only way to kill the monster is to die himself. Unfortunately. Pumpkinhead grabs, grabs Tom, Tracy by the neck and then before he, he can kill her, Harley shoots himself in the head. Pumpkinhead momentarily collapses to the ground and grabs Bunt again. Trace takes the gun and Harley begs her to finish him off. Harley, now fully changed, tries to attack Tracy. She shoots him until both he and Pumpkinhead fall to the ground dead. Sad, by the way. Tracy and Bunt then watch as Pumpkinhead burst into flames. Later that night, back in the pumpkin pass, the witch buries Harley's now disfigured corpse in a pumpkin head's grave, still wearing the necklace that his son Billy gave him. So now Harley is the new pumpkin head. How about that? So what can I tell you about pumpkin head? It's a well. Pumpkin head is a decent movie and deserves a rating of popcorn balls and gum. Pumpkinhead is a thoroughly enjoyable movie for Halloween. I highly recommend it. I think you can find it on Blu-ray for like eight bucks. Uh, it comes on TV uh, right around Halloween. I'm not sure where exactly. Um, shouldn't be too hard to find. Um, anyway, uh, go ahead and hit subscribe, uh, share and like, watch some more videos, leave thumbs up to support the channel, uh, leave a comment below. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.